Mediocrity is the new norm. Everywhere you go, you'll see weak men who have settled on doing just enough. The hunger to push boundaries, on the basis of which modern society stands nowadays, has become nearly non-existent. Only a select few still possess that iron will, and it'll be them who run the world in the coming years. Do you see yourself as being one of them? This is a question every young man must ask himself every single day. He must remind himself of his true purpose. He must keep himself away from the traps of today's degenerate and pathetic society, which keeps on breeding weaker and weaker men with cheaper and cheaper women. Women used to have so much value before this internet thing came around. Nowadays, you can get most of them for $3 on OnlyFans. Pathetic. High-value role models, high-value guides, high-value friends, and high-value women. No hood rats or junkie buddies like before. With that clear, let's move on. 1. Develop a growth mindset. Let's first talk about building the right mindset. You must aim to develop the kind of mindset that bosses and leaders possess. Those are the men who aren't scared of taking risks or making big moves. They've got that winner's mentality, and they're always hungry for self-improvement. You'll be wondering, how do you get this mindset if not naturally? Brothers, anyone can cultivate it if they have the will, and can follow it with their actions. First, set your sights on your goals. You should have long-term goals and short-term goals both. Think of where you want to be in the next 5 and 10 years. No need to think of the specifics, as that's a waste of time. Life never goes in a straight line. Simply decide where you want to be. Have a game plan for different scenarios. It's not only a way to stay locked onto your goals, but it also gives you a grip on life's unexpected nature. The defining trait of high-value men is that they stay in control, and planning is the secret to keeping that control. So, don't just dive in head first, my brothers. Take a deep breath, plan it out, and make moves like you're the kingpin. 2. Work on your physical. Everything else on one side, a high-value man isn't just mentally sharp, he's also in top physical shape. Staying disciplined and keeping yourself fit isn't only about looking good. It's about having the energy and stamina to tackle anything that comes your way. It's about having your fitness to the point where you aren't an easy target for anybody. A true alpha understands the importance. He knows the importance of being physically fit and even picking up some martial arts to obtain combat skills. It's not just about having a sharp physique, it's about being strong and ready for anything. Remember, a high-value man is always geared up for action and doesn't run from challenges. You don't want to grow old not knowing what your body is truly capable of. Wouldn't that be a shame? 3. Be confident. One of the most defining characteristics of a high-value individual they always radiate confidence. I'm not talking about the bluff persona where you puff your chest out, deepen your voice, and be the loudest in the room. That's nothing but a weak boy's gimmick. It's about owning it, deep down, and knowing your caliber in any setting you're in. A true alpha practically breathes confidence, and that's what makes him stand out. So, start from within, work on your self-worth, and watch it transform the way you carry yourself. Something a lot of people overlook is, to seriously boost your confidence, you need to get articulate. It's not a choice you get to make. It's an entry-level requirement. You've got to be able to sway others with your ideas, make them see your vision, and offer them something they can't resist. That's the overlooked beauty of constantly learning and obtaining knowledge. So brothers, Take into account the areas where you need to put in more work and simply do so. You'll realize that it doesn't take getting to the finish line to feel better about yourself. Simply being on that journey fills you up with confidence in your abilities. 4. Control the narrative around you. My brothers. To truly be a man of value and charm, you've got to master the skill of controlling how people perceive you. It's not about being fake or putting on a show, but about shaping the image you want others to have of you. Dressing well, communicating with confidence, and radiating authority, these act as instruments for crafting that polished image. Always keep in mind, what others perceive of you is reality for them. 
That's why it's been said for so long, fake it till you make it. So, if you're aiming to become a superior version of yourself, you've got to consistently project that image. Brothers, pay attention to your body language. It's the signals people use to form judgments about you. Remember, a high-value man commands respect and grabs attention, and you need to do the same if you want to be seen as one. So, take charge of how others perceive you, and don't just be comfortable winging it. You can do much better than that. 5. Become influential. Listen closely, brothers. The last but equally important aspect of increasing your worth is, you have to master the art of influence. In life, it's not just about what you can do for yourself. It's equally about inspiring others and uplifting those around you. You need charisma and leadership skills to motivate, to share your vision. Real power doesn't come from dominating others. It comes from lifting them up, helping them reach their goals. Build a tribe of like-minded individuals who share your values and goals, who respect and support one another. Surrounding yourself with this community ensures that no one dares to stand against you. Use social media wisely as not a medium of consumption, but a medium to boost your reach and put yourself out in the world. But always remember, brothers, there's nothing worth more than your privacy. Sharing too much with outsiders is never wise. Brothers, use these lessons wisely and remember that real power comes from being in control of yourself and your environment. Thank you for watching, and as always, see you in the next one.